Today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome garden rain barrel. It's very environmentally friendly and you can use it off grid, which helps you be more homesteady and independent. It's perfect for a raised bed garden and you can use a soaker hose. That's what I'm going to do. Let's go. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. Rain barrels are awesome. They're eco-friendly. You can use them off grid. It's just all about just catching the rain and using nature. Nothing else is involved. And that's what homesteading is all about. Trying to be more eco-friendly and self-sufficient. This barrel works as an in the yard free catch rain barrel, but you also could put it under the gutter on your house. Now I'm gonna show you how to make this rain barrel. I made it so easy to follow along, so let's get going. The first thing you need is the big 50 gallon plastic barrel. You can find these at feed stores. I see people that sell them on the side of the road. They're kind of all over now because they ship um, olives and onions and stuff in from other countries and this is what they ship them in. in. Next, you need a nylon half inch by half inch hose barb. Also, you need a half inch hose valve. I like to get the copper one with the little handle that turns back and forth. Also, you need the aluminum insect screen. That works perfect in the sun, it won't break down. You need a small container of pipe thread sealant and it looks like white pasty stuff. And if your barrel doesn't have the lid like mine, then you're gonna need some nice, uh, strong nylon rope of some kind. The lid is better. If you have the lid, I, if I had the lid, I would use the lid. Last but not least, you need an inch and three eighths spade drill bit. The first thing you have to do is get the barrel over on its side and you have to get it braced and wedged into a good position because you're gonna be drilling it. You might need a helper for this step. Drill the hole as low as you can, as long as it's still on a flat surface. Not too low not too high. After you drill the hole in your rain barrel, don't forget to tip it over and get all the little plastic bits out of the barrel because once it fills up with water, those little bits, if they're floating around on the water, will clog your valve right here and it'll be a big pain in the neck. The next step is to get the nylon hose barb and you want to stick it in the hole and you screw it in. Lefty, it's opposites. It's lefty tighty. Make sure you have your rubber gasket up against the barrel and then you need to get somebody with a really long strong arm to reach in the barrel and screw the other half on there to hold it tight. Also make sure the white gasket is against the barrel on the inside. Tighten as tight 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 as you can get it and then your barrel won't leak. Next you're going to get your hose valve and you're going to coat the thread with pipe thread sealant. Make sure it goes all the way around. It doesn't have to be thick, but there can't be any gaps in the sealant. So make sure it goes all the way around. And then you're gonna screw it in to the big white piece there. Simple. Okay, the last thing is to cut the screen and then attach it to the top of the barrel. I had to use a piece of this rope because I lost the lid that comes with the barrel. But if you have the lid, it's even easier and more handy. Just screw it on over the screen. These kind of barrels come with a two-piece lid, and it's kind of like the lid to an old-fashioned ball jar, where it's just the rim that holds down the little cover. These barrels are the same way. So the only piece you need is the rim that screws on, because the, op the middle would be open to catch the water. I would love to see pictures of your rain barrel on Facebook and Instagram. Also, if you have any show ideas of what you'd like to see next, let me know in the comments below. Please click the like button. It really does help us. And don't forget to subscribe. Happy homesteading. Bye-bye.